Kwon Bangla, chef day here at the Cooking Dojo. Tonight on our show, we'll be doing our August episode tonight. Now, it seems a certain assistant of mine left me hanging last episode, so we're going to try to bring her out this time. Hmm. I know, I'll bribe her with her favorite food. Whatever that is. Let's go! About time you showed up. Way to leave me hanging in the Virginia-style omelet. Come on, an assistant named Virginia in a Virginia-style omelet video? You're so predictable. No wonder you can't seem to break 200 views an episode. 200? I can so break 200 views. You take that back. You... Oh, who am I kidding? I can't stay mad at someone as cute as you. Ow. So... Unagi right now. What? Unagi, you know, eel. Oh, yeah, the Japanese word for eel. Yeah, we, we can... Tonight's episode will be short, sweet, and to the point. We'll go ahead and start with our sauce. We will need two tablespoons of sesame oil, spoons of seasoned rice vinegar, and a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce or Thai fish sauce, whatever you're in the mood for. And of course you will need some eel. I This one unfortunately came out much smaller than I thought, but hope Master C is not watching this. And some green onions, which you'll use for a garnish when you add it to your rice. So first things first, let's go ahead and heat up our pan. Put it on about a uh, medium to medium low heat. And just a splash of oil. You can uh, you can pan fry this or grill it or braise it, but. So eel, I use yellow eel here. Um, like I said, it's kind of small. If I can get my hands on a bigger eel, I'll definitely make an episode showing how to clean it. So you know how I got from the whole eel to this. While your eel is cooking, go ahead and make your sauce. In a mixing bowl, mix together your oil, vinegar, and soy sauce, whether soy or fish sauce. Here's your seasoned rice. Um, just cook it till it's a nice. So cook it until it is a sort of a tan color. Now what I'd probably recommend more than this is I would recommend maybe spreading it up in some uh, panko. If you aren't sure what I'm talking about, go back to my katsu style chicken video. And you can... Once your nagi is done, go ahead and add it to the bowl. Assistant, if you would, go ahead and add our sauce. And garnish with some chives or green onions. Either one is fine, whatever is your preference. And here you have Unagi. Gazuntai. This is Chef Jay. And Virginia. Saying, Itadakimas. Itadakimas.